lift up that two hands. Emmanuel. Just worship him for a minute. Emmanuel. Oh, Jesus. Emmanuel. Raise your hands and worship him. Somebody raise the hands and worship him. Your name be
Can't you see an angel standing around our brother? Come. Oh, Jesus. Daniel. There's an angel. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And I saw the angel with the mantle. And that mantle was released on the head of our brother. Amen. The Lord said to me, you will not miss the assignment. Amen. This is one of the great men that God is raising in the body of Christ. Amen. This man will speak the word of God without fear. Amen. The Lord man that is upon you so strong, brother. You are on a summit. And the Lord said that don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. For the Lord said that what I have for you is bigger than your bloodline. Amen. Oh, Jesus. It's bigger than your bloodline. Amen. The angel of the Lord just ministered to me. That the devil wanted to strike around your home. So that people will question about your God you serve. Then me wanted to strike your home. The strike of your home was meant to happen this weekend. I saw that you are carrying a picture of a woman. And saying that, why didn't you wait? Why didn't you wait? The Lord ministered to me that the plot of the wicked is to bring a discouragement to the Lord you serve, to the people that they believe in the mission God has given to you. And it was going to be a sudden death over Angela. Angela, it's your wife. She's my wife. Clap your hand for Jesus. Oh, clap your hand for Jesus. Emmanuel. Wave your hand. The spirit of the Lord ministered to me that the enemy wanted to use that thing to make a statement so that you can be discouraged and broken. The Lord, if you have called me for this assignment, why did you allow this to happen to me? Because I saw people questioning that where is that grace on your life? But the Lord said, I should tell you that this thing came from the corridors of wickedness to sabotage the mandate of God upon your life. But say yes, the Lord, you have prevailed. Amen. Amen. I prophesy. Yes, Lord. You and your family have prevailed. Amen. Amen. I'll be talking on the subject why prophecy is needed when we don't have sin in our life. Two, why prophecy is needed after we are battling with the flesh. I've entered into a certain corridor and there's a seat and that seat has got a name written on the seat. That seat is a seat that sits in a certain family. And within that family, there have been so much things that have gone on that is not for public discussion. But God has anointed somebody that anything that has troubled that family through that person, there will be a correction. Amen. And you are the person that have been chosen. Amen. Amen. Sir, there's a strong grace of God upon your life. I have seen a seat and they have written a name on the seat. The name that I'm seeing, I've seen the name they have written Mensa. Mensa. I'm Obed Mensa. Sorry? I am Obed Mensa. You are, you are Obed Mensa. I've seen the name Mensa. It's a last name. Last name. Last name over the family. That is our surname. Clap your hands for Jesus. <laughs> Sir, in the realms of the spirit, the Lord said I should tell you, anything holding everyone bound by the ocean of the Lord upon your life is broken. Amen. Amen. Can I declare to you? Yes, Lord. The Bible said that when the Lord saves one, he saved the whole household. There are times that God is looking for one person to set the whole family free. Today, 
the unction of the Lord upon your life has broken the limits. Amen. Amen. Can I prophesy? Yes, Lord. Every limit placed on you are broken. Amen. Amen. Shall break. 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 I'll be closing in a minute. So I'm coming back tomorrow night. And tomorrow night is called the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There's something I'm seeing, but uh, it's very delicate. So let me find a way of wisdom. Where is Sister Angie? She traveled to Rwanda for a job offer. So she's in Kigali now. When is she coming back? She wanted to stay for some time. So the plan was actually to join her, but the decision is not final yet. So it's not going to happen. That is why I saw you holding her picture because she died in another country. Well, let's get into some few spiritual foundations. May people that are around you that seem to be very pleased about your results but they are being assessed with wickedness. May you be a case. Amen. Amen. So when she was going to the airport, who went to the airport with her? I took her to the airport by myself. And who else? My, I mean, look, myself and... No, my, I took her to the airport alone. So both of you went to the airport? Yeah, I went to the airport. Yeah. Not two of you? No, she, she went last year. She came back and then she and my first daughter traveled together the second time. You are saying right. When she was going, a friend said goodbye. A friend said goodbye. But I don't trust the goodbye. The rest of the matter is not for your hearing. It's a warfare. Sister, can you bring that child? Don't run. Just, just take your time. For integrity purposes, safeguard the face of the child. Don't let the face of the child come into what you are doing. If you can shoot from the back, and after that you blind it. How many of you have seen that we have been blinding our videos and all of that? Because I'm so keen about people's integrity and their. Let me go around what I'm what I'm going to go around with wisdom. A hand has taught this child. And I'm not pleasant with the hand that taught this child. Have you seen a doctor over this child? When was that? Um, I've been seeing a doctor since she was born. And then uh, when she was born, she was diagnosed with an EST. I'm not happy. When you are pregnant, not everyone can make a food for you. The matter of the story and the story of the matter is simple. You ate a food that was being assessed to attack the life of the child. This life, the life of this child is being predicted that she cannot grow beyond five years. There are four surgeries that is ahead of her. I'm not worried about it. This is what they have planned. But tonight, Jesus, what is? If God is a miracle working God, yeah. then may he touch our sister. Amen. Woman, I am not God, but I've seen God working on this baby. Amen. Amen. Can I say this to you? Medical records got changed. Amen. Amen. No one meets you. Let's go. It remains the same. Let your hand attack it. Every burden is lifted in encounter with you. Oh, 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 oh. you are 
to declare. Yes, Lord. The medical records of my sister, God just changed. Amen. We just saw a testimony of leukemia that they gave her days to leave. Did you watch it? Can we push it on? Let me see. Just recently, leukemia that they have told her that is the la my last meeting I did in the U.S. before I came. That is the, my last meeting. To send us. The current thing was here. Uh, my sister had been diagnosed with leukemia. The doctor had given her a short period of time to live. She's looking. Sister, Janie Washington. And the last time that Prophet current thing was here, uh, my sister had been diagnosed with leukemia. The doctor had given her a short period of time to live and told her that she wouldn't make it. But thank God, Prophet Griffin laid hands on my sister and called my sister healed. Now my sister has no trace of leukemia in her body at all. She's totally healed in the name of Jesus. Lord. May every sickness in your life, Jesus, there will not be no trace. Amen. One of the things that Lord always do, He said to Moses, Joshua, He said, "As I was with Moses, as we have seen." Ah, ah. As you are clapping, receive your miracle. Amen. Amen. You know, the spirit of the Lord said that tomorrow night is the dispensation of Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm also tomorrow, I'll just be teaching briefly for about 15 minutes. And let's see, when God calls his children to gather, why he doesn't show up? Tomorrow, if we serve the living God, may God prove to us that there are sudden miracles. Amen. Amen. Cry no more. Sorry? My parents are in the Maryland, so we were actually arranging for an emergency visa for her to be operated on. To be in America? Yes, to be. To be operated? Yes. I saw for sick. Baby girl, may the God ah. who created me, Jesus, prove to the medical world. Amen. He is the covenant keeping God. Amen. Amen. Can I say this to you? The records just changed. Amen. Amen. Even before I pray, let's go. She opened the sea and sent me to be to He has done it for me. I'm 
Also, can you find me just seven bottles, um, cups of uh, communion? That's it. Just find it for me. I need you to find it for me. Run. Don't let anyone touch it. <laughs> Open the door for me. Let me find it. Are you blessed tonight? Yes, Lord. Can I be honest with you? I think we have the bag, so get one of the bags and put it in for you. No, we have a bag. We have a good decent bag. I will see you sometime in life. And you will say that my mom told me. Amen. That time, Brother Prempe will still be ministering still in my old age, still seen in the realms of the Spirit. Amen. I was at the New York in front of the cathedral and the woman said, prepare, you know how the Americans, they call, they don't even call you by your title. Prepare. And if you get annoying by it, it's up to you. <laughs> Tell you, prepare. You prophesy about my little girl and say she'll be this, she'll be this. Prepare. She's inside the bank. She's opening accounts. My girl, everything you prophesy has come to pass. She went there and said, come, come. This is prepare. <laughs> the one who told you everything about what you are having now. They can say, Hello. He said, I prophesy almost about 17 years or 18 years ago. Is that? I speak boldly. Yes, Lord. The devil just lost a battle. Amen. Oh, look at where you are clapping. Is that? Nothing. No gimmicks. No. Let them check records. Is that? Oh, don't worry. It's, it's only God we knew before Him. Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Is that? Yeah. There's nothing to worry. It is settled. Amen. Go. He has taken away the fears and given me peace of mind. Can I say this? An angel just left your wife and came. He said, the battle is over. Amen. Amen. Nothing will happen to your wife. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Do you want to go to Kigali? I'm still contemplating. Are you sure? Yes, please. Are you sure? Because your wife should not be there alone. Because you and your wife are not supposed to be in Kigali. As the final destination, I see two country flags mixed together the flag of America and the flag of Canada. They have intertwined, and you and your wife are standing in these two flags. There's a destination ahead. Wherever she's roaming is not the place. There's a destination. Any door that must be open, 
for the fulfillment of God's destiny on your life. Let the assets be unlocked. Amen. Amen. Oh, clap your hands, Sabbath. Father, use your man's servant. Amen. Strongly. Amen. It is done. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Where's the passport? Give it to me. Where is it? He left it. Why did he left it? My sister's place for Canada process. Because when I saw the flag of Canada and US intertwined, I saw a document that your passport has, they have put your document inside the passport. But someone has gone to take one of the vital documents. She's a lady. That you and her are no more together. And she says she's offended of the way you treated her. Because you haven't done right with her. And she's angry. I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Please. Sorry? Yes, please. You haven't done right with her. Yeah. She's angry. She has cried on you for 90 days. Come, brother. Don't be worried about the question I'm going to ask you. Don't be worried. Did she ever at a point gave you any money for something? Just a little money, something. Yes. Sorry? Yes, please. Did you give, give the money back to her? No, please. Why? Because she didn't accept it. Give it back to her. Okay. Give that money back to her as soon as possible to redeem yourself. Okay. That money may be your plane tickets. Let me use that money spiritually as your plane fare and your visa processing fee. There's nobody that has risen up to a certain fame in the generation of yours from the bloodline of the Darko family. Yeah, I'm called Darko. You are Darko. Oh, clap your hands, somebody. <laughs> Spiritually, in your generation, everybody from the Darko bloodline, they have offended women or men. So some things are fighting them. And you have been chosen to breathe free from that limit. Brother, I plead with you. Look for money and give me back to the lady. And even if you can double, double it. Okay. What did I say? Double it. double it. The Bible says strive and live at peace with all men. Okay. Brother, I don't believe anyone has been able to tell you this revelation I'm telling you. Yeah. I don't believe. I don't know if someone has told you. No. Let me tell you this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You are locked up in Ghana. When the angel of the Lord ministered to our brother and we went into the, the corridors of Canada and, and America, the angel said that there is somebody whose document must be released. But look at how they have locked it. And he showed me a passport with documents and the vital document, one sheet that they needed to look at to make sure they can approve it, it has been missing. It was stolen by somebody who consult for the lady's family. The lady is not a witch. But there is somebody in her family 
whose responsibility is that anyone who doesn't treat their family members right, she is the cause to punish that person. She's an auntie. You have even eaten her food before. The food was not, you didn't go to her, but the food was given to the lady, and at the way, you ended up having the taste of that food. It's a parable. She prepared the food with something from herself as a woman. Period. You know, when we are in the place of God, these are the things that God through his element reveal to bring us out. Can I be honest with you? Yes, Tomorrow, yeah? It's called the days of the realms. Is that? I'm in a place right now that I've told the devil enough of the gimmicks and games. You cannot play with God's children. The devil is a liar. Amen. What am I hearing? I hear the word of the Lord saying, Anything you pray, it will happen. Amen. Amen. So you want to go to abroad? Please. Eh? Yeah. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Trust God, yeah? Love God. Align your path. And fear him. You've been surrounded by wrong people. There are three ladies around you. And these three ladies seem to be friends, casual friends. You speak to them. But they're on agenda. Two of them are calling you, you're a sweet talker. Brother, not every underwear we pull down. What did I say? Not every underwear we pull down. What did I say? Not every underwear we pull down. What did I say? Not every underwear we pull down. Watch yourself from now. For there comes a time that you can exhaust God's grace. Father, help my brother. Amen. Help my brother. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I break every chain. Amen. Break. Let it go. Go. Loose. Loose him. Fire. Curses. I demand for your release. Amen. Amen. Anything battling with your spirit, not to walk right with God. Sir, he's not here. Raise him. Hear me. You are not like your friends. There's a peculiar grace on you. So don't behave like them. The Lord even said to me, you are not of the secular world. For you have been chosen for his kingdom. Amen. And therefore, let any hold that the enemy has got on you. Jesus. To cause you to deviate from your purpose. Jesus. Be a curse in the name of Jesus. Amen. You do what is right. Amen. You love him and serve him. Amen. And you won't fail. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. Oh, clap your hands. Now lift up that two and say, by the blood. By the the blood. blood. I am exempted. I I am am exempted. exempted. Say, I am free. I am free. The Lord ministered to me that three women sitting here just took a seed from tonight. Amen. Amen.
Let me look at the watch you are wearing. Where did you get it from? When did he give it to you? Uh, earlier this year. Earlier this year. Why is it that I'm not seeing your folder at any labor ward? I must carry out every time I get pregnant. I've seen your folder. And I'm supposed to locate your folder at a labor ward. I've gone through three hospitals. Three hospitals, including fertility hospital. I've gone there. I don't want to mention the name. And I'm looking at your records, and they are saying that they themselves are surprised that there are people they came there with you at the same time. They have been able to have twins. But you, why? But can I say this? You are going back to labor ward. Amen. Amen. Come. Oh, clap your hand for Jesus. Come, sister. Go back. I'm sorry about this. This is what we call prophetic gimmicks. There's no God in this. I'm just telling you to do something. Come. <laughs> Come. Have you seen a sort of a prophecy? Sister, it's all gimmicks. <laughs> Okay. They will love me. Some of them will not like me because I'm in a place where I lazy man. You know what? What is not necessary is not necessary. Uh, hey, then we are palm readers. <laughs> Hey, a frock of your own. Now, you're any magician. What is the difference? Ganedo, the special Okoy. South Africa areas on a Zim area host now. So our boys know you go on. It's me a James. Yeah, catch a cameraman and then my camera no here. And the trim is so far. Because presentation, they will say, look good. Wow. Baba, can I say this? There is nothing God cannot do. Yes, Lord. Eli was a man that speaks for children to be born. But we only recorded only one he spoke. <laughs> it means that there are many of them he spoke, they didn't see. But on Hannah, they saw. I lay my hand on your belly as a point of contact. Miscarriages just left you. Amen. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Baba. <laughs> May the spirit of the Lord that located you ah. settle this matter. Amen. Your question is that prophet. Who is behind this? God is behind it. Because you should have not given birth ahead of the time beyond this season. Before this season, sorry. Now, the door is open. Amen. You know why? I made it to remove the watch. When the fullness of time came. Ah. When your time is not yet up, you may try and try and nothing will happen. I stand here to declare to you congratulations. Amen. Amen. I prophesy congratulations. Amen. Amen. Anyone under the sun of my receive your congratulations. I receive it. Stand up and shout. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just like you were on the streets of Galilee. You are doing the same today. Just like you heal the sick and you raise the dead. You are doing the same today. Just like you say, lots of wrong. Come forth. Come forth. Hey. You are doing the same today.
hearing the name Eunice. I'm hearing the name Eunice. The Lord is telling me that don't let Eunice ever make any food for you. Either a caterer or anything. Write that name down strongly. Please. Her second name just came. But I will not be a fool. Because she has got some people she knows on this road. So let me save that. So they don't use this prophecy as a gossip. There are three people here. They know Eunice. From here, second row going. There are some three people here. And you know yourself. You know Eunice. As a matter of fact, even this row. This row. This row. This row. So I will not talk about it. So that they will not go because sometimes I need rest from gossip. That Prophet Prempe said it. So this one, I have, a, I, have a, I have a way out. Let me keep the last name. Because every Eunice is Eunice. Because even I have Pastor Eunice in London, so every Eunice is Eunice. <laughs> So the rest is a, is a story. Congratulations. Oh, clap your hand. Shout, it's already done. It's already done. Brother, may the Lord help you. Amen. So when you pray, declare that any documents will not be missing. Amen. Is that your old password? Go and pick it. And go and do what I asked you to do. We will meet from Toronto. 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 We will meet in Toronto. Toronto. You'll be in Toronto and you'll be living in an area called Mississauga. <laughs> you meet a lady, her name is called Janet. She's a nurse. <laughs> There is nothing Let it up. you cannot do. Janet! There's no mountain you cannot move. Oh! What is? Janet! Janet! She was sleepy, she just woke up. Janet, the one her phone number is 1416 the last two, because someone is sitting there. When I mention the last two, you call her. <laughs> Can I prophesy a bit? Yes, Lord. You know, Apostle, when we love God, yeah, there will not be any struggle when we gather. Amen. God is good, though. All the time. Mrs. Permit me to say this. Let me be honest with you. I am miserable. After a service like this, he will come and say, Prof, today it was good. <laughs> but you know the good thing? He is with the Lord. Amen. So that is our job. <laughs> and can I tell you, we didn't lose a battle, but he needed a rest. Congratulations. Go and follow the assignment because it's a condition to the word of the Lord. Ah. Go. Are you blessed tonight? Yes, Lord. Oh, wave your hand and give God a praise wherever you are. Shout, I am blessed seven times. I am blessed. 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 Are you sure you are blessed? Go ahead and give him a shout of a praise.